In chapter four of Zora Neale Hurston's Their Eyes Were Watching God, after a year of marriage, Killix is less patient with Janie's independent ways. When he tells her to bring in the wood that he split, Janie refuses. He compares her to his first wife and says Janie's spoiled. He tells Janie to cut up seed potatoes while he's out of town to buy a second mule. While Killix is away, Janie sits outside cutting the potatoes. She hears some whistling coming down the road and the well-dressed, handsome Joe Starks appears, stopping for a drink of water. Starks tells Janie about his plans to settle in an all-black town in Florida, where he hopes to become a big voice. He asks Janie where her parents are and finds out that her parents and grandmother are dead and she's a married woman. Janie tells Starks that her husband has gone to purchase a mule so that she can plow, too. Starks assures Janie that she's too good to be plowing and working on a farm. For the next few weeks, Starks and Janie meet every day and talk, becoming closer and closer. Starks tells Janie that he wants to marry her. Soon after, Janie wakes her husband and asks him what he'd do if she left him. He doesn't believe Janie will leave him, and he thinks no one else will have her. The next morning, Janie leaves with Starks in a hired carriage, headed for the town of Green Cove Springs. They get married when they arrive. Chapter four focuses on Janie's longing for freedom and independence and what she's willing to risk to get them. Joe Starks spoke for change and chance. And when she leaves Logan Killix, she feels liberated. And the symbols of the horizon and the gate help emphasize this. For Janie, Starks represents freedom and opportunity because he spoke for far horizon. She rushes out the front gate to meet Starks and to go away with him. With the recurring images of the pear tree and blossoms, this chapter furthers the theme of love. Janie believes that she's finally found the passionate love match she's been looking for when she meets Joe Starks, whom she sees as a bee for her bloom. Killix resents Janie for threatening to leave him, but he's pragmatic, refusing to worry over what might happen. It's clear he can't fully understand Janie or the power of her dreams. The chapter also reveals Janie's youthful romanticism. After making her decision to leave with Starks, she naively believes that her life would be flower dust and springtime <laughs> sprinkled over everything. Despite Janie's naive optimism, the chapter concludes with the ominous image of Janie and Joe Starks sitting on the porch, watching the sun plunge into the same crack in the earth from which the night emerged.